Hey guys, so there's no my face today as you can probably hear my voice still hasn't come back properly so I'm not going to waffle on too much through the video as you are probably going to get really tired of hearing Marge Simpson talk to you down the camera. So today I am going to one have a proper go at this Arteza paper. Now they contacted me a little while ago for the second time around and offered me some products to review and of course I said yes and this is the first time I've actually properly used their paper. It's a really good um, poundage, it's 110 which is 180 GSM in UK terms and it's 9 by 12 which is a really really nice sized sheet actually. Um, um, so I thought for today I would just give it a proper go for a new challenge that I didn't actually know existed and it's the YouTube Artists Collective, I think I have it correct and they set a challenge about once every two to three months and the um, community chooses a word and artists then draw to that word so I thought I would give it a go as I've never heard of it till now um, and from what I can understand from other YouTubers videos is that they are actually open to all the artists on YouTube so I thought why not give it a go um, so first of all the pad itself is spiral bound which we all like as it makes it easier to open your pad it also has a little tear corner um, I know I have mentioned this pad before in the previous one, but it has like a little perforated section along the side. So should you then want to tear it out, you can, and then the sheet is fully 9 by 12 otherwise it's slightly larger. So as I said, at the moment this has purely been used by my children, um, as I just gave it to them to experiment with. And to see what they think so so I had a quick sketch while watching a movie with the kids this morning and I was thinking about the the word that has come up for this month is phobia and I have a couple but I didn't want to freak loads of people out by doing my main phobia which is creepy crawlies and I thought I don't want to put people off watching the video or to freak people out so I thought this time excuse me um, I'm not going to do that and I'll keep it to my other phobia which is claustrophobia and I even remember the time when this came about this is the preliminary, preliminary can't talk today preliminary sketch that I have done and I knew I wanted to do something really really emotive and I managed to find um, a reference on Pixabay which sort of portrayed really what I wanted to do but I wanted to enclose everything and it was just this person behind glass and the glass was wet so it was like it was raining um, and it just had the one hand and I wanted to put the extra hand in it to give that extra feeling <clears throat> of being trapped in somewhere and I've enclosed her in a box so when I come to do it I'm thinking I'm going to do the outside really bright and colourful and then the inside I'm just going to do purely graphite. Now the reason this has come about is because when I was probably, I think I must have been about eight or nine, more about the eight, I had a crocheted blanket on my bed and I fell asleep and I had a nap and I woke up and I somehow managed to enclose myself in this blanket to the point where I was trying to get it off me and I couldn't and my fingers were just going through the holes and I just went into this mad crazy panic and ever since then I have not liked blankets over my head as long as I can see through to so my face and I can put my arms out I tend to be okay but if anybody shoves a blanket over my head that I completely and utterly freak out so that's where it's all stemmed from so I am going to do the main part as I mentioned in graphite and then I'm going to keep the outside I might even do it in neon I just want it really really bright to give the idea that in the outside everything is colorful and normal and bright but when you're in that claustrophobic environment 
you just feel really really trapped now i'm going to stop waffling on so you don't have to listen to this voice anymore i'm going to switch over to probably a time lapse just to speed this up if you enjoy the content please give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button for all and i shall see you either at the end if my voice allows me or i shall see you on the next video okay guys so i am back and i'm going to try and see what i can do with regards to just explaining why I'm doing it the way I am, I'm just going to pop up an image here which shows you the type of idea that I had in my head and it didn't quite work out. And I think that's because of how close up that she was to the glass. And I think if I'm to do that again, I really need to actually look at doing it very, very differently and having her further away. But the concept was to have it look like her hands were pressing up against the glass as if she was trying to push her way out or at least look like she's there and that she needs help getting out. So I wanted to keep her really, really faded in the background and have the hands as the main focus. And it, it didn't quite, I was a bit disappointed, it didn't quite work out like that. And also the paper is really textured. I think it's actually very high in um not necessarily cotton but it's got that feel about it and i can't bear textured paper for the pencil so i don't know why i chose to do it on here but it was uh, funny games at least testing it out it came out okay just not quite as i'd had envisaged at the end you'll see in the end that i end up outlining it because i think you sort of lose a bit of the feeling um, I decided in the end to put some of the raindrops on there. I didn't want to go for this whole realistic look. I wanted it to be much more, I don't know, loose, I suppose. A bit more subjective. So I didn't want it to mean just one thing to me. I wanted it to be able to be meaning something to other people. So I didn't want this highly realistic looking person. I just wanted to be much more of a metaphor so I decided in the end to add the water drops just so it looked like she was pressing against something a bit more. As I say, later on I do outline the fingers because I felt it just lost a little bit really. So I did pop the neon around the outside which I said I wanted to do and I think it did work because I wanted it to have that really vibrant colourful outside that I wanted it to have and just keep the inside nice and graphite and grey which is exactly how I wanted it to be. Once I decided to line it I was much happier with the outcome so overall yep yeah, I'm fairly happy.